All right, guys, today I wanted to show you something. Welcome to the first video on my channel, by the way. I've been playing around with Trek, been using it for about a year now. This is a must for anybody who loves Trek. Or you could do it without Trek. But we're going to open it here. It's called Series Guide. Now, right up here on the. Excuse me, one minute. I got to grab my pointer remote. You're definitely going to want a pointer remote. But if you go up here, you'll see Connect to Trek up here. You can go ahead and do that if you have a track account. Like I said, you don't have to have a track account, but this will allow you to integrate track and terrarium together. If you use terrarium, you're definitely going to want to get this. And what we're going to do here is once you've uh, signed into track account, or maybe you didn't, either way, you're going to hit this plus arrow down here. Now, once you've hit that plus arrow, you can add a show by searching, but we're talking about track here. So we're going to go over to a collection which my collection is huge. You can go ahead and hit the add all button and that will add all your shows from your track to your collection inside of the app. Now once that's done, what's really cool about that is it will show you all your shows that are played recently but only the ones you've added or maybe your whole track account, whatever you've done. But once you've done that, it'll then show you, you know, yesterday we have Full Frontal Outrageous Acts of Science, Naked and Afraid, you know, and it shows you what you've watched. You know, two days ago, I watched Tosh and Wrecked. But let me show you, before I go through my whole show list, how it works. Now, if I was to click Tosh, hold on, there we go. Alright, my mouth's sucking today. But we're going to scroll down here, and you see, oops, I went over too far. Forgive me, it's my first video, I'm allowed to have mistakes. But if we go over here, you see Watch on Track. You can add it right down here. I've already added it so it won't show up in my list. But you'd click it and just say Add Extension. But we're going to go back here just so I can show you what I'm talking about. If we hit Watch on Terrarium TV, it will now pull up Terrarium TV and start showing you all the sources. We'll go ahead and let it load here. Now you can watch them straight from Terrarium TV. If you hit the back button, again, you're back to your uh, series box. And you have all your recent. It'll show you what you've watched. It'll integrate through uh, Terrarium. Now, if we go to our shows, we get the same thing. But let me show you something. Something else I always thought was missing from Terrarium was a watch list. You know, anybody who uses, I wouldn't say anybody, but most people who use Trek know that there's a watch list just movies that you can keep separate from your uh, overall collection. It'll still be in your collection, but these are more shows you're just waiting on. Everybody loves a little jigsaw. They're coming back. You might want to look that up. It's a little confusing the trailer, anybody who watches the series. But again, I won't go through my whole library on you. But if we go over to any show like, um, we're actually going to have to go to something that's played. Most of that hasn't played yet. Aquaman's going to be a good one. Either way, we'll go to my collection here something we've known that's played there we go now if we scroll down here you'll see again watch on terrarium and that will open straight to your terrarium and start loading sources and then you can obviously come back and go back through it again what's really great about this uh, guys uh, check it out if you're a terrarium user is that show list if you go to recent after you've added your shows it will show you all of your stuff from just yours. This isn't stuff out of my that isn't in my library. I should say all this is in my library, and I can know what I've watched, what I haven't watched. You don't have to go through in your whole library and wonder what's played or what hasn't played, or hope that Terrarium will give you a notification. You can just come in here and find out what maybe you missed. Like oh, there's a thousand dollar pyramid. I'm old, so work with me. But that's a good show. I didn't know that played Rick and Morty. These are just things you'll forget about, and it's going to remind you. And you can't do that in Terrarium. You just can't. And you can get all your collection from your track, your watch list, everything. Definitely check it out again. Series guide. You can sign into your track account. And you can look at everything that's played based on your preferences. You can get this on your phone as well. They'll interact with each other over the track network. You can add more, whatever you want to do. But definitely a different way to use Terrarium. Because now you can actually get everything you 
want it from Terrarium. I always wanted a watch list. I always wanted a recent. But definitely check it out. Let me know if you can get Showbox on that extension list too. Not one of the apps I have, but leave it in the comments below. Thanks for coming to my first video.